Greetings, family and friends of Trail Christian Fellowship. We live in tumultuous times, and this is a very difficult time for us here in the Rogue Valley, especially because of the weather, the smoke, because of the spike in the COVID occurrences, because of the mask uh, mandate that's come down and it's causing people to wonder what they can do and what they cannot do. But we are Christians. The Lord knows what he's doing, and we need to be reminded of that. I want to I want to read a passage from Philippians chapter 4. It's very famous. Most of you know it. Many of you have it memorized. The Apostle Paul wrote this while he was in custody to his friends outside. He was in, in Rome under house arrest when he wrote this. And it's really a wonderful encouragement to us when times are difficult and we need to bear up under some difficult circumstances. He says this, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will repeat, rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. That word reasonableness means a person who's able to be talked to, doesn't lose their temper, doesn't freak out, is willing to see all sides of a situation. It's a difficult thing when you're under stress, but this is what Paul says. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses understanding, that means it doesn't come from understanding everything. It means it comes to you even though you don't understand everything. That's what that means. And so he says, Rejoice in the Lord and keep praying for what you believe is the right thing, for sure. He says it several times, with thanksgiving. And then a peace comes because we're leaning on the Lord. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If there's anything good, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. We are Christians and the Lord says, look, I know it's tough and I know that you have difficulties to face. And sometimes difficult decisions need to be made as well. And the pastors over the last couple of days have been praying and thinking what we should do in light of all of that we've just talked about. The smoke, the COVID thing, the huge increase in people suffering from the, the, uh, the Delta variant um, and the mask thing that nobody really appreciates. Nobody wants to have that. And so we've been wondering how we could make decisions that would do basically three things encourage the body of Christ, protect one another and, and our community. We're part of a larger community. And the Lord says you should be good neighbors to your, to your constituency, to your culture. How can we minister to the body of Christ, be good neighbors to the people around us, and be a good witness in a fallen culture? And so for the next few days, we decided to do church online only starting tomorrow, this coming Sunday, and then canceling our midweek service until Wednesday. We will have Wednesday evening, but it will be online only. And then we'll reevaluate these things as maybe the smoke will change, maybe other things will change, we don't know, but we're going to reevaluate these things as we go along. Uh, through this last year, which has been very difficult, we all know it, you have expressed encouragement. You've shown flexibility, patience, kindness, generosity, all through this time. And we so appreciate that. These are Christ-like characteristics among mature believers. And we had hoped that by this time, much of the stress would be gone, but it is not yet. And we need to, we need to come back under some difficult things, but the Lord will help us through it. And we want to thank you for all that you have done and all that you are doing. So please be patient with us over these next few days. And please pray that we have wisdom and discernment as spiritual leaders 
how best to minister to the flock effectively and be a good witness in our community and protect our friends and family from this illness. I'd like to take a moment and pray together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your sovereignty and your providence. We can think of many things we would rather be doing than making these kinds of decisions and living in this smoke. And yet, Lord, we trust your providence over our lives. And we believe you will give us a way, personally and corporately as a body, to navigate these things effectively to your honor and to your glory. So please give us that strength. Please give us that wisdom and discernment. Please give us that patience with one another and with the circumstances we're facing. We trust you for all of these things through the grace of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.